What's up, Capricorn? This month for you looks like something sneaky could be happening. So be careful, first of all. Secondly, don't get obsessed or um, doubtful because something failed. Let it go with grace because you have all these new opportunities. I have a Knight of Cups here. I have a Ten of Swords here. Like, oh, and you've got the Hierophant, Hierophant, Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, and you've got the Queen of Cups and an Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. So like the Ace of Cups is reversed because first we're still clearing these old relationships or collaborations or partnerships or we're now really thinking and considering um, letting them go because we see that there's other um, opportunities on the horizon. So that, yes, Three of Swords can be really triggering, of course. Um, some of us, maybe if we fall too much into the stress, we're going to feel it on the body, so be careful. Um, I'm also hearing like drink a lot of water because I have the Queen of Cups here as well, see? Queen of Cups, and what a perfect card for cancer season. This is a water sign. We are dealing and processing a lot of deep emotions. Um, yeah, it's time to take time for yourself and to prioritize your own well-being. I feel like Capricorn is really good at that anyways. They can really like shut people out and focus on themselves if they need to, but there's just been so much happening with um, our foundations, our structures. I have the King of Pentacles here reversed. Some of us could be dealing with either money issues or trying to figure out all of the details so we can establish better ways to make money. But like this King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is saying like things are shifting. And I think with this Queen of Cups, what's shifting is the foundation that we've established over the last how many years, how many months, whatever. We've had all of these foundations and systems and structures in place up until now. And I think that we weren't really um, prioritizing ourselves in those systems, in those structures. We were maybe prioritizing other people or um, trying to match other people's expectations of us, which means we're prioritizing their expectations, not our reality. So the point is whatever that structure is that we've already built and already established, now we see that doesn't fucking work for me, bitch, I'm out. We've got a queen of cups here, meaning I am now trying to really focus on prioritizing myself, my health, etc. And if I wanna continue living with that kind of um, opportunity and abundance coming my way, how do I do that? I need to be in a soft, quiet, tranquil, um, peaceful place environment. How do I do that? Well, I need to prioritize myself and my own well-being, okay? How do I do that? I have to let go of these old structures. I have to let go of these old people. I have to let go of these old projects, etc. because y'all be fucking draining me and I don't have the time. I don't have the patience anymore because I've leveled up. And if you haven't leveled up, bitch, then we're at different levels. And that's what you don't understand. So I'm gonna have to let you go, babe, bye. Like, wheel of fortune right here, bitch. Wheel of fortune right here, yeah, yeah. So, I gotta go, I gotta go do my Capricorn things, <laughs> which is making money and looking fine as hell, bitch. Sorry, it's like, this is feeling really good and I feel like this deep transformation is taking place we have the Empress reversed here. We have the Five of Swords here reversed. It's taking its sweet ass time though. You're like, holy, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, forgot I was on a block. I forgot I was on that. Um, it is taking its sweet ass time. It's like, oh bitch, I am ready to be the queen. I already know I'm the queen. I'm already sitting on the throne, but I'm just waiting for everyone else to 100% recognize that I'm the queen and then we can just start really moving uh, shit. You know what I mean? It's like, I feel like Capricorn is going to be making some big moves in the future, but we're still figuring out like, how do I prioritize myself? How do I establish a good enough, strong enough foundation so that everything, when it arrives, all the opportunities, expansion and money, I can take it and sustain it because we want this for a lifetime. You are ruled by Saturn, right? So like your long-term thinking, you are action and result. You are plan and structure and build foundations so that we can continue to build and build. You're not going to like Aries this shit and just be like, let's go for it and then never finish it. It's like, no, no offense, 
Aries, LOL, uh, Matt, still water is probably laughing right now because, yeah, anyways. Point is, seven of wands, y'all aren't going to be flexible for other people because now you have your vision, you see your potential. You've seen a lot of good results over the last little while, so I feel like there's just this opportunity now to be like, bitch, I'm lit. I'm ready to enjoy myself more and to accept more abundance and um, good collaborations into my life. And like, yes, that is coming because you've got the Hierophant here. We have new structures. We have new rules. We have new contracts, agreements, etc. King of Swords reverse, King of Cups reverse, Page of Cups reverse, and then you've got the Justice card, the Star, and the fucking Magician. Like, you're not dealing with peasants anymore. It's not gonna happen, Capricorn. You've become the royal king, queen, whatever the fuck you wanna label yourself as. It doesn't matter. You're not fucking with these low life people. It's just not gonna happen. And like a King of Cups reverse, some of these people are just immature. Some of them, um, I feel like they like talk a big talk, but like they really, they can't show up. They can't do the work properly. Um, they never follow through with what they said they would do. They never follow through. It's like, you're not fucking, you know, socializing with the children. You don't want to sit at the kid's table anymore. It's like, we're done. We're leveling up. And if you can't recognize that, then you need to go because I need, and you're going to start demanding and requiring other people to really recognize your value and recognize your skill set and recognize your pay scale. It's like, yeah, bitch, if you want to work with me, that's fine. But like, where the money at? You know what I mean? Judgment reverse, four of coins reverse, eight of cups. Where's the money? Where's the money? Where's the resources? If you can't pay me, then how can you get my name out there for free? Sorry, for free. I don't know why I just signed friends. Um, Eight of Cups, it's like, we're just over it. And with the Six of Coins here too, like we're ready. We're ready to establish better boundaries, rules, structures. Like Capricorn Energy, you... You can really utilize that Saturn retrograde right now as we're all changing these foundations, we're changing these routines, we're changing these behaviors, um, these old belief systems and how they show up in our action and then how that action results into something. Like, how are you spending your time? How are you spending your energy? How are you spending your money? What do your resources look like? Are you saving money for what? Why? How do you establish these routines to achieve what you want to achieve. Well, we have a lot of time figuring that out right now. We also have the world reverse and I've got the hermit here. So like with the world reverse, we're still figuring it out. So don't stress yourself out for at least this next month. Like cancer season is a lot of feelings. It's a lot of deep exploration. It's a lot of connection to family, um, ancestry, figuring out how to establish those fourth house things which would be focused on how we find security, stability, structure, self-preservation, care for other people. Like we have a lot of emotions to sort through right now. So we don't need to be trying to add all of these results and manifestations to our plate right now. We have enough to eat. We have enough to focus on. We don't need to be adding other things. So slow down, Virgo energy. This is the hermit, slow down. The universe will guide you, it will lead you, and like, you can only do that step by step by step. So don't stress about 10 steps ahead. Don't stress about next week or next month or next year. It doesn't fucking matter. Especially, look, you've got five of swords, sorry, five of wands reversed and nine of swords. Especially when that stress is from other fucking people. These people are disturbing your peace. Like you should be peaceful, but they are disturbing your peace because they are stressed, because they don't know what to believe, because they don't know what to say or how to say it, or because they are lying about what they're saying and they don't have the fucking skill set to follow up. It's just like these people, their drama, those monkeys, that circus, it's not yours. You don't need to take control. You don't need to help figure it out for them. You don't need to do more than you need to do for yourself. Like prioritize yourself. Cancer season, prioritize yourself. We also just had a full moon in Capricorn, so you're gonna have this strong release right now. 
you're gonna have a lot of energies to sort through over the next three months, four months. It's like, you have a lot changing. We're halfway through the year. We're starting to get towards your birthday. Like things now moving forward are gonna be wrapping up, releasing, closing out so that you can start that solar return again. And you can have that fresh year, you know? So it's like now, you know, things are yes manifesting, but we're also for you starting to really recognize what, who um, is coming forward with us, what behaviors, cycles, routines, traditions, etc., cetera, um, are coming forward that we're gonna keep doing. It's like, there's a lot happening. And with the nine of swords, you can be really in your fucking head about it, really stressed out, really like, okay, at the end of the day, you're done, you lay in bed and you're just like, I can't stop thinking about what? What is it? What is running through your mind? These are the things we're letting go of. Old exes I'm hearing for some of you for sure. People, energies, habits from the past, they're coming back like Mercury is still in its retrograde shadow period. So like the post shadow I would say is another 10 days or so, maybe around a week. Um, so our thoughts, our ideas, are driving us fucking crazy possibly. Also old people, habits, things from the past coming back because Capricorn full moon, like it's time for us to release these things, these old structures. So if you haven't taken the full moon workshop, go take it. The full moon was last week. It's a pay what you can 30 minute video. It's like you have no fucking excuse. And uh, anyways, it's just like you've got nine of cups here, four of wands reverse. When you let go and you drop all of these old structures and foundations, like you're gonna have more abundance, more opportunity, more expansion, more love, self-satisfaction. Also, when you're prioritizing what you want and you're not matching other people so they remain comfortable, but you're not comfortable, but you're doing what you feel you need to do to make them comfortable and then you match them and now you're not valuing yourself, you're prioritizing others. Like when you drop that shit, you will have so much more time. You will have so much more energy. And then you can just use that to continue to manifest what you want. And that will come. I don't think during uh, cancer season, I think now like cancer season, that Capricorn full moon, it's a time for um, reestablishing rules, boundaries, limitations for ourselves, reparenting ourselves, etc. Like we've been really clearing a lot of old um, family wounds or traumas or um, childhood traumas or whatever. And now it's like, okay, we've cleared a lot. We've let go of a lot, but it's time to establish some new structures, some new rules for myself. Why? Because I want to care for myself and I want to become as successful as possible. And yes, I still want to enjoy myself, have some drinks, drink some coffee, alcohol, fucking smoke some weed, whatever. I understand. I get it. Trust me. But the point is you can't do that all the fucking time, right? So it's like, how do we establish those boundaries? We just need to re parent ourselves with our phones, with our bedtimes, with how much water we're drinking, etc. It's like, there's a lot happening. I get it. Okay. So if you want help, any resources, um, everything's on my, sorry, on my website, the link is in my bio, um, donations to support this work. I love you. I am grateful. Go take a workshop. Okay. I will see you next month. Capricorn. Bye. <laughs>